hands. For the longest time, AI image generators never seemed to get them right. But that all changes now, because an artificial intelligence startup, Black Forest Labs, just released Flux, an AI image generator that destroys every other competitor, at least when it comes to generating hands. Oh, and also text. This AI generator can generate text much better than any other model. In this video, I'm going to tell you everything that you need to know about Flux, how you can use it for yourself, and how it stacks up against other popular AI image generators like Midjourney. But first, how is Flux able to do this? I mean, hands and text have been something that AI image generators have struggled with for the longest time. And to understand why AI just sucks at generating hands, well, in essence, AI is a pattern matching algorithm that is trained to recognize the relationships between billions of images scraped from across the internet and the text description that accompany them. Since it is all a big combination of matched patterns without any real understanding of what the patterns are, hands are a significant problem. Fingers tend to appear in images near other fingers, but their orientation with regard to each other varies significantly. Furthermore, the number of fingers which are visible in a given image can vary as well, since many positions of the hand block the view of some fingers. The number of fingers is also very precise, only five per hand, no more and no less. So it really comes down to that within AI datasets, Human images display hands less visible than they do faces, and they also tend to be much smaller in the source images. So AI just doesn't really have a good idea of what a human hand should look like. So what did Flux do differently? Well, it's simple. They just trained the model specifically on hands. It was trained on a vast data set of hand images, allowing it to capture the intricate details and subtle variations that make human hands unique. Flux uses a combination of generative adversarial networks and convolutional neural networks to create its realistic hand images. GANs consist of two neural networks, a generator and a discriminator, that work together in a competitive manner. The generator creates images while the discriminator tries to distinguish between real and generated images. Through this process, the generator learns to create increasingly realistic images. CNNs, on the other hand, are used to analyze and extract features from the hand images. They help the AI understand the complex patterns and textures that make up a human hand, allowing it to generate images with incredible detail and accuracy. So the model was created by a bunch of distinguished AI researchers who are responsible for developing foundational generative AI models like Stable Diffusion. They've released three models, Flux.1 Pro, Flux.1 Dev, and Flux.1 Schnell. The Pro version being the very best of what they can offer, state-of-the-art performance image generation with top-of-the-line prompt following, visual quality, image detail, and output diversity. And it seemingly outperforms all other major AI image generators on its ELO score, essentially meaning it's demonstrated superior performance across various metrics compared to their competitors. However, the model is paid and closed source. FluxDev is an open-weight, guidance-distilled model for non-commercial applications, directly distilled from Flux.1 Pro. Flux.1 Dev obtains similar quality and prompt adherence capabilities while being more efficient than a standard model of the same size. However, it is for personal use only. If you want to use it commercially, you will have to contact them. Dev is technically supposed to be worse than the Pro version, but I honestly haven't noticed any major differences when it comes to comparing the models. And finally, there's Flux.1 Schnell, which is the fastest model and and is tailored for local development and personal use. This one's decent. It won't give you anything special, but it gets the job done. Flux.1 defines the new state of the art in image synthesis. Their models set the new standard in their respective model class. Flux.1 Pro and Dev surpass popular models like Midjourney V6, DALI 3, and Stable Diffusion 3 Ultra in each of the following aspects. Visual quality, prompt following, size and aspect variability, typography, and output diversity. Flux.1 Schnell is the most advanced few-step model to date, outperforming not even its in-class competitors, but also strong non-distilled models like Midjourney V6 and DALI 3. Flux.1 Pro and Dev models consistently outperform all of their competitors in producing photorealistic images with exceptional detail and accuracy. Just look at some of these examples. They are almost indistinguishable from photographs at a quick glance. Okay, so let's actually test out the model for ourselves and compare it to its competitors. If you want to try it, you can access it either through Hugging Face or Replicate, which are both linked on the company's website, but to save you the time and effort, I'll just link them in the description. Alternatively, you can download the Schnell and Dev version and run it locally, but I find it's much easier to just run it through either Replicate or Hugging Face. So Flux Dev is actually very easy to use. If you want to test
test it out on the Replicate platform. It will cost money, but it's not a subscription based or anything. You simply pay for what you get. It costs you three cents per images, which I think is a pretty good deal. Alternatively, you can use Hugging Face, which is actually completely free as long as you create an account. So let's hop into Replicate. We have our prompt aspect ratio if you want to change that, an option to upload images if you want to alter one, prompt strength, which will affect how much you want to alter your uploaded image. If you want to completely destroy everything in the image you uploaded and make something new, then set it to one. But I'd usually keep this at 0.8, which seems to be the default. They also have a number of outputs, which is nice if you want to generate multiple different images for your prompts and see which one you like the best. Guidance is pretty much how much influence you want your prompt to have on the generation. Output format and output quality are pretty self-explanatory. So let's enter our prompt. I kind of wanted to focus on hands here, so let's do a close-up shot of a dark-haired woman holding her hand up, palm facing the camera, with the writing hands on her palm, written in black sharpie. So this is what we get with Flux. The hands look pretty good, and the text is exactly what I was intending. All around, I think this one was pretty perfect. Now, this is what Midjourney V6 gives us. Clearly not good in the hands department here. They kind of look merged together almost. It also didn't really follow the prompt accurately. Okay, so let's try a silhouette of a dog in the thunderstorm clouds, thunder, photo, bad weather. So this is Flux and this is Midjourney. Both of them are pretty good here. I do like how Flux actually included lightning, whereas the Midjourney one didn't really have thunder or lightning at all. If I had to pick one though, I would again go with Flux. Three teenagers cycling down the road in a neighborhood, 1980s vibe, summer, nostalgic. And these are the options that I get. Both of them performed pretty well, but in this case, I am going to give the edge to Flux again. So I did want to test out another popular model, Stable Diffusion XL Lightning, to see how it pairs up against Flux. So this is what we get for the same prompt using Stable Diffusion XL. And the first thing I noticed was that it was much faster, albeit for a worse generation. I still think Flux has been better than both so far. A young man working on a computer, the computer screen says virus, and the young man is shocked. Dark lit room, scared expression. Again, there's no real competition here. Flux is just much better and is able to follow the prompt correctly with the text. Stable Diffusion XL Lightning generated it in an animation, which to be fair, I didn't specify if I wanted real life or not, but I would appreciate if it had generated the text properly. So yeah, I do think Flux has completely dethroned the mid journey and became the best AI image generator out right now. What's even crazier is that Black Forest Labs is just getting started and they have a model called SOTA, which they plan on releasing in the future for text to video generation, which looks extremely promising. With the way Flux has completely dominated its competitors, I wouldn't be surprised if SOTA completely outperforms OpenAI's Sora, but we can only wait and see to really find out. So what does this actually mean for the future of AI image generation? I mean, we are nearly at the point where we can't tell the difference between AI images and real life. And if that doesn't scare you, well, it should, because soon we're going to be living in a world where images can no longer be taken at face value. Gone are the days where a photo or a video can be definitive proof of something. Photos and videos of you can be spread online doing something you've never done in your life. From now on, any crime that is committed on video can be claimed to be artificial intelligence. Celebrities and politicians will be deep faked saying things they've never said. AI will slowly destroy our perception of reality. And this is a future that is coming sooner than you think.